and salutations, tis I, Lowry, and I am here to present the eulogy for the mad Montreal man, also known as Joseph. Now, where to begin? Joseph was an ugly old man who wrote poetry that almost no one read. He drew comical characters that never will see the light of day. And he was sad, ugly, lonely, toy collector. <sighs> and he's responsible for me being on this show. He's also responsible for me breaking up with Jerry Blossom. <sighs> Uh, Lowry, uh, two things. Number one, I'm not dead. And number two, I'm pretty sure she cheated on you. Well, uh, yeah, she did, but that's besides the point. It was the pressure of working for you. I, I hope this is the last time I'm ever doing this show. But uh, yes, wait a minute. You're not dead. Why am I doing a eulogy? All right, uh, let's get on with the show. It's uh, what, on the peg, something, something, something. Uh, I need a drink. Hey, uh, sorry about Lowry there. So welcome to uh, episode 100. Yeah, yeah, hard to think. Uh, season 2 is wrapping up with this episode 100. You know, and if you think, we've only been doing this for a year, and, and you take season 1 and season 2, it's over 150 toy reviews. And no wonder I have no social life. I collect toys. I know we're not doing him. No, 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 no. This will be a sneak peek of something for season 3, and there will be a season 3. But I just thought to wrap up season two, it'd be nice to have some of our guest hosts come back and do one little segment all together in one giant episode. So, uh, well, I don't think Larry's going to do it toy, but uh, let's start off with uh, the youngest member of the House of Madness. And uh, I'll take it over to you, uh, Leroy Jr., for his last toy review of season two. <laughs> Jr. So welcome to Leroy Jr.'s Toy Review for Kids. That's right, toys for kids. And I finally got a toy on the peg. Wow, they must think I'm doing a good job. And they really must think I'm doing a good job because they got me a McFarlane's toy avatar action figure. Yay, it's Zuko, the bad guy. What do you say we take him out of the package and we take a look at him? Zuko, the bad guy. Ha! <laughs> Toys for kids. I'll All be back. right, we got Zuko out of the package, and I have to say, wow, we! Wow, this is so much cooler than the other ones. Man, these McFarlane toys really know how to make a character. Look at that face. He doesn't look as mean, but he's got this cool fire blast you pull on his fist. He's got spare hands with the fire blades. And he's really well detailed. I want more of these guys. I love the anime, and this is a great action figure. Look at that, how cool that is. All right, for Christmas, I want more of these guys. Can someone get me some more of these guys? Not Zuko. I mean, I don't want more Zukos, but if I get more of these Avatar The Last Airbender from the Carlin toys, that would be so cool. Okay, let's wrap this up. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Thank you, Mr. Producer Man. I really, really, really like this toy. He's so cool for a hot guy. <laughs> wow. I'm starting to understand why some adults buy toys and never play with them. But I'm going to play with them. You know why? Because it's Avatar and he's meant for kids. But I'll take good care of him, though. Well, I think that's it for me. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Mr. Producer Man, for having me on the show. I really like being a part of this. And thank you for the cool toys. I think my uh I think my dad's up next. He's got another one of his toys to show. And I'll see you guys uh Yeah, I will be. I'll be back in season three. Yay! Bye! I gotta go now. I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna go play with him. He's so cool. Da 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 da, -da. Leroy Jr. out. <laughs> It's 
it's me, Leroy. Welcome to Leroy's Articulated Action Figure Review. That's right. Wrapping up this second season with this toy. The Warhammer Artist Proof <laughs> Trader God. He's all gray, so you can pay him what you want. And uh, I know the Warhammer, Henry Cavill likes the Warhammer too. So uh, what do you say? Oh, don't know what color I'm going to paint him. Well, what do you say we take him out of the package and we take a look at him in detail? Yeah, let's do that right now. Ooh, Leroy backing out of the shot. Ooh, just look at that ugly face. Look at him. He's all gray. I don't know if I'm going to paint him. I might just keep him that color because he's kind of cool gray. Even though he makes me think of like some World War II bad guy. I won't say what the word is because you're not supposed to say that word anymore, but... That's what he makes me think of. He's a space blank, 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 bad guy. Yes, right. Ooh, no wonder they call him a traitor god. Maybe I will paint him. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if I should paint him or if I should just leave him in the gray artist proof format. Ooh, look, it's 3D. <laughs> Leroy, coming back to you in five, four, three, two. And, and I'm back. That's right. I'm back. Hey, what do you think? Should I paint him or not? Let me know in the comments. I know I said it before. I'm saying it again. Let me know in the comments. If not, he's just a really cool bad guy. And you can imagine the kind of violence <laughs> he would do if he were a real living creature. Hmm. I'm just thinking. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it for me on the show. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit that like and subscribe. Oh, I, I think Lowry was on the schedule to be next. I don't know who's going to be next, but uh, just stay and watch. That's all you got to do. Stay tuned and watch to see who the next presenter is. That's it for me. Leroy, out, yo! It's me, yeah, the coolest cat I could be, yeah. Oh, baby, it's me, yeah, and it's good to be me. Hey, everybody, it's me, Dr. Cool, back in the house one more time, yeah. Playing the best door review you're gonna watch today, yeah. Now, I'm not gonna tell you if it's hot, cool, or not, but today we are doing a two pack. That's right, we are doing Michelangelo from the Turtles versus. Chong Lee from the Street Fighters. Oh, Tupac is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you didn't know I could sing? Oh, baby, it's me, yeah. Walking, walking, and singing. Oh, yeah. I can do everything, man. I am Dr. Cool after all. So let's take these babies out of the package. Oh, and take a better look at them. Wonder who would win in a fight. Hmm, hmm. I know. Let's see if you know. <laughs> Okay, let's take him out of the package, right? So now. there you have them out of the package. Yeah, and normally I don't like the packaging, but it's like an old video game. That and they don't come with bases. So let's take a quick look at them. Here we got the Michelangelo with the nunchucks. And of course, we got chun Li. yeah, baby. Now, I do like the fact that Michelangelo's toes and fingers are posable. That's kind of cool. But then again... Look at that nice face on Chun Li. Now, in a real fight or in a video game, we know who would win. <laughs> and if you think it's Michelangelo, nah, -uh, you're wrong. He's too nice. He's a cool cat, but he don't care. Now, Chun Li, on the other hand, she would finish him. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, let's get back from our verdict to see if the hot, cool, or not. Oh yeah. Oh baby, it's still me. Yeah. <laughs> Now, it's nice wrapping up the show, but it's not me wrapping it up. But this will wrap up my reviews for the year. Yeah. Yep, I'll be back next year doing something. Don't know what yet, but we'll see. But in the meantime, let's see. Are they hot? Are they cool? Or are they not? Oh, uh, well, when it comes to being hot, let's be honest, they're not. This toy came out a while ago, so it's been sitting on my shelf unopened for a while so they're not hot now are they cool oh baby boy you know they're cool heroes in a half show 
always cool. And Street Fighter Chung Lee, ooh wee, baby, you know she's hot in her own way, which makes her cool and dizzy. Yeah. Now, are they not? No, they are not something you should pass up if you see them at the store. Uh-uh. Oh, baby, yeah. Now, I'll see you guys all next year somewhere doing something. Until then, stay cool, baby. Yay. Dr. Cool, out. Oh, exit stage right. <laughs> yeah, time to go. Hey, is this thing on? It is? It's on, you sure? Oh, hey, it's me, Slim. How y'all doing? <laughs> Hope you're doing well watching this show. Well, today on Things From My Basement, I found me the Spider-Man Venom fighting toys. Woo, hey, you're cool. Look at that. Look at that. But I'm going to ask the cameraman, hey, cameraman, would you mind doing a demonstration of the toys to show people what they do? Hoo-hoo. <laughs> What else am I going to find in my basement? Got these guys. Oh, yeah, I want to show you what they do. All right, going to cut. Going to get the cameraman to give you a display. <laughs> yep. Isn't that interesting? Oh. Not to sound mean, cameraman, you really don't know how to do a display of action figures in action. But still, it's done. It's over. Oh. Yep. Weird stuff I find in my basement. <laughs> Wonder what I'm going to find next year. Well, I guess that's it for me. Slim. Oh. And you know, as usual, got to go. Wee, gotta pay, <laughs> gotta pay. I don't really have to go pay. It's just like, you know, an expression. <laughs> it's my way of saying, it's time for me to leave. Woo! All right, see you later. Bye. <laughs> and uh, remember, stay a good old boy and good old lady. Hit that like and subscribe. All right. I'm going to go dig in my basement for more toys. See you. Bye. Woo! Greetings and salutations! Ha <laughs> ha! It's me, Peter McMillan. How are you doing, boys and laddies and lasses? I hope you're all doing well. No, you're expecting Larry. No, that sad sack's not going to be back for this one. No, no, no. He thought it was an eulogy for a man who's not dead. Sad. No, I'll do one more toy review for you. That's right, for you. It's definitely not worth the pay. You will know that Crown Royal whiskey was pretty good. That's a hint, producer man. Get me more whiskey. All right. Enough of that. But today we're going to be doing this thing here. Yeah, the character called Carbride from the Fortnite series. Fortnite. What a weird name. I think it's called Fortnite. Fortnite. It's Fortnite. Look at the spelling of it. F-O-R-T-N-I-I-T. Fortnite. Not Fortnite. Hey, you dumb freaking Canadian fool. It's Fortnite. You can't change my mind on that, so we'll do this. Carbright character. Let's take him out of the package. Hey! Definitely want some more of that crown wild tonight. Okay, let's do this now. Hi, diddly dee. All right, there. You got the carbide out of the package. Kind of makes me think of that Disney Marvel Iron Man guy, except this one's blue and black. He looks more violent, too. He's got a gun, a pickaxe. Much better base than those McFarlane toys that were the DC multiverse and stuff. No, I don't play Fortnite. What? Okay, the game's called Fortnite, but that's not how you spell night. Last time I looked, night's not spelled N-I-T-E. It's spelled N-I-G-H-T. You know, night, proper English. Oh, these people don't even speak the King's English anymore. But there you go. That's out of the package. Oh, I think Leroy, that uh, white rat boy, would like this toy. Seems to have a lot of violence in it. But it's still kind of a cool face sculpt. You know, I didn't regret it. 
But let's get back to me so I can wrap up this segment. Well, there you have it. I travel from Glasgow to Vancouver to Ottawa to join this crazy show just as it wraps up. Hey, well, the Grand Royale was good, by the way, producer. I had me a wee taste during the break. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for now. And as I always say, let the scotch flow and we'll see you next year. Hi, diddly dee. I need some pipes with my tea. Well, that's it for all the guest hosts for today. So thank you for watching it. And uh, no, I'm not going to wrap up the show with that. I still have to do a review. And I'm going to do something I don't normally do when I do reviews. Yeah, as you know, I collect the DC Multiverse. And as you can tell, I've got like a few more to do. Ho oh, ho! Yeah, that's an understatement. I've got a few more to do. But I'm going to do something that I don't really do. I'm going to do a DC Multiverse. Never thought I would buy something like this, but I did. Because I figured episode 100, when I was debating what to open, do I open up like a three-pack, a two-pack, a gold label exclusive? No, no. Even though I must admit, there are some gold label exclusives I want. Those Target exclusives that you can't get here in Canada. Like, you know, the Flashpoint Target exclusives. They look so good. Can't get them here. Because Target won't ship to Canada. Kind of sucks. I need to find somebody in the States who's willing to go to Target, buy those, I'll pay them for it, and then ship them to me. But uh, I digressed on that one. Some things don't change. I still digress every now and then. But uh, I, like I said, I decided to do something I don't normally do. I spent more than I normally budgeted. <gasps> oh! No, actually, I bought... Oh, frick, this one's heavy. I bought this guy here. Yeah, it's the Batman. Oh, frick, it's heavy. And the, uh, you know, as you can see, it's a very big, heavy toy. So what do you say we take Batman and his freaking heavy toy out of the package? We'll take a look so I can wrap up my last, you know, on the peg season two review for now. So let's do that. Let's do that right now. Yes, let's do that right now before I go too crazy. Because you know, you know the toys. The toys. No wonder I'm single. Maybe Laurie's right. Maybe I'm single because I have toys. But then again, what woman would want this face? I can't think of any. So uh, before we go too off topic, let's take this bad boy out of the package. And we'll take a good look at it. Yeah. I know, horrible camera work tonight. This thing's heavy. Excuse me, I'm on a low budget here. <sighs> okay, enough silliness. Let's take the Batman and the Raptor card, whatever you want to call it, out of the package, and we'll take a look at it back shortly. <sighs> so there you have it out of the package. Now, I don't normally talk about a toy when I'm doing the close-ups, but I figure I'm going to take a page out of the other guest host. I'm going to talk about it. Now, I have to admit, the first thing that caught me off guard was how heavy this thing is it is a heavy heavy toy uh, it's pretty well detailed even though i have no idea how you would actually drive a vehicle like this in this position it's definitely something only batman can do but uh, i'm gonna basically pause the video for a second i'm gonna basically take batman out of the really uncomfortable driving position and we'll show him outside of the vehicle okay so there's the console even though that's more like a, a a chest chair, not a chair. But uh, let's take a look at bats. So nice big blue boots, nice thick, super heavy cape. I really like the Batman logo. And I do have to admit, having the red eyes is kind of cool. It kind of goes with the uh, the look of the Bat Raptor. That's what it's actually called, the Bat Raptor. But there it is. Yep, my last toy review of season two. Ah, oh well. Let's get back to me and uh, let's uh, talk a bit more about this. Well, yeah, it's, it's actually a really heavy toy. The one thing I do like about it, okay, it doesn't have a base, so I can't do my usual thing. This Batman scope is actually really good. Uh, you know, basically, I think I pretty much bought it to get the Batman, but I have to admit, the Bat Raptor, as accessories go, really cool. Even though I would, no idea how you would actually drive a vehicle like this, but... 
for toy value, it's it's heavy. It rolls extremely well. It's a shame it's not a remote control. That would be really cool. Can you imagine having a remote control bat raptors zooming around the place? But uh, that's going to wrap up uh, this toy review. And uh, I hope you like the toy reviews. It's uh, Like I said, it's kind of crazy that we've been doing this for about a year now. But I just figured that is the way to wrap up the show with a toy review that something I don't really buy. I might have to start buying vehicles now. Of course, I'm, I need more shelves. But here's a sneak peek of what's coming. Oh, that's right. There's more. It never ends. No, there's so many more to do. You can't even see the pile. We got some gold labels. We got oh, so many toys. So many toys. Okay, let's uh, go downstairs and start the last scene now, shall we? Well, that, that's it. That wraps up season two of On the Pink. It's kind of amazing to think that within a year we started down here with this wonderful back wall in the basement here. And occasionally, occasionally we would film with this back wall. And then we slowly, slowly climbed the stairs. Yes, at the end of season one, we climbed the stairs to make it to the main floor and the wall of On the Peg number two. Well, but that's going to be it. You won't see this wall again, at least not for anything I can special that I can think of. But what's going to happen is, uh, in January at some point, yes, season three, I will be back. So will some of the guests. Uh, there'll be some stuff done on the other channel. Yes, I'm going back to doing stuff on Mad Montreal, man. Yeah, thanks to you friends who bugged me to start doing videos again. I did this channel on the Peg, the Toy Review, which is my hobby. But it's got me missing doing some of the other crazy things I did on Mad Montreal, man. So uh, come January, we'll have two channels going maybe once a week. As for On the Peg, yes, there will be a third season of On the Peg. I have way, way too many figures. Ooh, look at this. Way too many figures to review still, and there's more coming. I won't tell you how many I have on pre-order already with GameStop. It's a really good thing I have a discount. And there's still the stuff, like I said, I want from the States, the Target exclusives that you can't get up here. I'll probably put up a, a pictures on Facebook of what I'm looking for, and I'm willing to pay for them. Just not insane eBay prices. But yeah, season three, I'll be back. And uh, like I said, there'll be some of the other guest hosts as well. It won't be this back wall. Nope. I think it's time that I'm going to take this a little bit more seriously. I know, me serious? Go figure. But no, we're, uh, I'm looking at building an actual studio where I can do my painting, my drawing, and of course, do some filming. So during the month of December, between working my wonderful job, I'm going to be working on turning one of the rooms in this house of madness into a studio so I can have a bit better quality of a set. That plus the fact I'm tired of standing in the stairs and stepping in bowls of cat food. But no, no, I'm looking forward to being back. I also need a break because it's been a lot of filming, a lot of stress, uh, health issues this year, of course. I mean, I, I've been sick for the past month. I know I don't look sick. Well, I know I look sick all the time. It's just my pasty white disposition. But no, I've been under the weather. You know, my shifts are all over the place. I do work, shift work. Uh, it does pay for these things, even though I do still budget for these things. You kind of have to budget for toys, especially in this economy. Ah, and I do get my discount. But no, uh, I want to get something stuff done. I also miss doing some paintings. I haven't painted in three months, and I'm behind schedule on that. I have some writing to do. So December, this wonderful holiday month where I'm working a lot. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm working a lot. Um, it's a good thing they goes in Vancouver. Yeah, no sidekick. So it's just me and the boys. So um, I'm going to get work on that stuff. I'm going to slowly turn one of the rooms, like I said, into a studio. But um, I do have some sad news for people of On the Peg. Some of the guest hosts will not be returning to Hadoo Toys. Lowry has very loudly voiced his dislike of doing toy reviews. So he's returning to the House of Madness. He'll be back on the Mad Montreal channel coming in January. Well, he'll be doing his own thing. Uh, Leroy, I love that little white rat. 
But Leroy kind of is bored of the toys. He still collects them. Don't worry, he's he's got one toy. He might be back once in a blue moon with the new format. But for the most part, uh, he wants to get back to doing what he enjoys the most. Watching movies. Yeah. Leroy Jr., well, you already heard, he's coming back. Slim will be back with more things from his basement. Because, you know, it's Slim. As for Peter, well, I'm not sure what Peter's going to do. Uh, I'm not sure. Peter will be back, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he'll be back on the Bad Montreal channel. I mean, having twin orangutans in your house and their cousin Slim is a bit challenging at time. And we still have a few others. Uh, the one person I guarantee you will not be back on any of my channels, dude. Well, he might be back on the Mad Montreal, man. You never know. But uh, we still have some other guests which you haven't seen. Well, no, 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 you haven't seen them. So uh, you, they might show up, but they won't show up on the pig. On the pig, I'm sorry, the boats are in. It's me. Too bad. So sad. Will be a new format. And we will have, like I said, Leroy Jr. and Slim for sure as guest hosts from time to time. And, uh, you know, new format will be nice once it's all up and running. So I'm not sure when in January that's going to be. I wish I knew, but it does take time to turn a room into a studio with better lighting, uh, better sound as well. I've already improved with the, uh, the, 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 the tripod's been improved. The stick I use for those wonderful shots <laughs> has been improved as well. Uh, I also still need to get shelves because it'd be nice to have a studio with the toys in the studio on proper display shelves. Yeah, it takes money. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen right away, but we'll have something figured out. That, and it'd be nice to sit down once in a while and do the dirt reviews from a sitting position. Just saying, I'm getting old. I'm ugly, and I know. And, you know, Lowry's right in some ways. I mean, that's sort of why I'm single. It's I enjoy toys, and, you know, Lowry, Larry, you know, if I ever got another girlfriend, which I wouldn't say no to, let's be honest, I'm not dead. Contrary to what Lowry thinks. But uh, no, nah, if I got another girlfriend, I would still be doing these videos because, hey, you. Yeah, you. Especially you, Shane. I know you like these videos. And I kind of do it for you, my brother from another pair of parents. My Irish brother. <sighs> if only I could find a nice Irish girl. Oh, green hair. Green hair. Did I just say green hair? Wow. Okay, I am definitely tired. It's been a long day of filming been a long week this is the first day uh, actually in about three weeks where i don't feel like i'm going to pass out every second because i'm lack of sleep i actually got some sleep for the first time in weeks like sleep sleep but no it bit uh yeah redhead long red hair green eyes oh my weakness it's either that or some wonderful asian woman with long black hair who likes k-pop music and of course they have to like toys on top of liking me yeah, I know. I'm going to be single till I die. Don't remind me. But uh, that's it. Um, I got one little blooper for you to wrap up the season. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and liking On the Peg Seasons 1 and 2. I hope you come back for Season 3 in January. And uh, January, I'll give you a hint too. Check out Mad Montreal, man, because you're going to have some stuff there. Like Lowry is going to be there. Leroy is going to be there. I'll be there. I know, more of my face. Yeah, it doesn't end, does it? No, no, it doesn't. It never ends. But that's it. No, but seriously, uh, I do this for fun. I do this for you guys. This video is going to be a lot longer than I normally like. Maybe it's a hint at the new format. Whoosh. I don't know. Let's find out in January. But no, that's pretty much it for me. The Mad Montreal signing off for now. And we'll see you sometime. January. Maybe some, maybe I'll do a little bit of a something, a teaser, maybe uh, in the month. But for now, it's time to rest. Start working on turning that room into a studio so I can be back with even more. Yes, more toy reviews. <sighs> in a new format. So until then, I hope you like and subscribe. And please share this video. Um, and uh, before I go, quick shout out to a couple people. I've done shout outs in a while, but shout out to 8th Dimension, Nick. He's still managing to hold on, trying to liquidate his stock. So thank you for Nick for being a great buddy all these years. And of course, Shane. Don't ever stop, Shane. Seriously, don't ever stop. You are one of the coolest people I've never met in person, but 
Dude, I love you. And of course, Sub City Comics, the greatest store in Glasgow. Actually, the greatest comic book store and toy store in all of Ireland. Huh. And of course, uh, my buddies at GameStop here at Rito Center, Chris, Casey, you guys are fantastic. I don't even have to tell you what I want. You just go, he's going to want it. I literally walk in there every time. It's like, hey, it's him. Hey, how you doing? Nothing came in today. It's like, then I still buy stuff. <sighs> and of course, the other stores I mentioned as well, even though I've never been there, I've heard really good things about them. Like, um, well, I have been to the comic book shop here in Ottawa. Good store. Tasmanian Comics. I used to shop there as well in Vancouver. And if I was in Scotland, especially in Glasgow, according to Peter, that's where I got the information about Castle Comics and, of course, Ridden Planet. And if you know a store that's really good, hey, let me know. Maybe for Season 3 I'll start doing better shutouts. Maybe Season 3 will be better anyway. Because right now I realize I'm covered in cat hair. It's unavoidable. Cat, dog, everywhere. Even on the toys. It's kind of frustrating. But that's it for now. Thank you on behalf of all the guys, all the wonderful hosts on this show. Thank you to my daughter, Nicole, because she's the one who did all the music you've heard throughout the seasons. It's her stuff. It's amazing what she can do. And uh, that's it. I'm getting sappy. I'm getting long. I'm getting tired. Yeah. And I've got toys to put away. I have no idea where I'm going to put this thing. It's massive. Look at this. I have no more shelf space. But that's my problem, not yours. And uh, that's it. We'll see you January 2024. Unless eulogy might be your prediction of the future. Hey, Larry, are you a precog or something? Do you know I'm going to die or something? Because why are you doing a eulogy? No, I'm still here. See you guys next time. Here's my ear. Uh, hello. How are you? I've shrunk. I'm now a midget. Oh, that's politically not correct to say. Oh, well. You'll never see this unless I do a really weird blooper reel. <coughs> we represent the insanity of toy collecting. Let's try this again, shall we? <laughs>